much for staying tuned to uh, this channel. Uh, if you just joined us, this is TMI. Sunday's edition, we're taking a look at the, uh, the general council meeting that uh, was held last week uh, due to the fact that Nigerians are groaning under, yes, the hardship of uh, the narrow scarcity, fear scarcity and all that. Uh, various recommendations we have made. We want to take a look at the impact of the meeting yes on the nigerian populace all right the impact of the meeting on the nigerian populace because right now you and i know that some recommendations were made past presidents serving president vice president various governors you just name it the green chamber the red chamber they were ably represented and they all spoke their mind on the issues that nigerians are going through the fear, the apprehension, barely two weeks to the election. What in the world is really going on? With me here in the studio he is a political analyst, a politician, and a premier. Join me to welcome Honorable Desmond Ubo. Honorable Desmond Ubo, welcome to TMI Sunday's edition. Appreciate Thank your you. coming. So last week, the Zero Council they met both uh, old president, seven president, vice president governors represented by the deputy uh, the, the, the 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 green and the right chamber they all came together to really brainstorm on what is really going on now from the meeting thoughts for people like thinking that since uh past and present leaders came together to talk about this issue they're them soccer but it's like nigerians are still undergoing the same thing even right now they are more confused don't forget also about the judgment or will I say the pronouncement by the Supreme Court. Please take it up from there. Thank you. Uh, you, you see, Nigeria as a country, you know, we have the good, the bad, and the ugly mm. when it comes to implementing policy. The CBN policy uh, to every rational Nigerian is a good policy. Uh, it's just that the, the timing of the implementation of, uh, of the policy is what Nigeria uh, is uh, groaning through and that uh, the relevant session of the CBN Act 2027, Section 2A, Section 18A and B, Section 9, or in the Section 19, sorry, gave the CBN management the go ahead to sort and obtain permission from the uh, from the president to carry out what is currently done and having sought and obtained the permission of the president after robust explanation of the gains the nigeria economy and the nigerians citizens uh, stand to gain from the monetary policy the president give a nod to it and uh, ask him to go ahead. Recall that there was a time when this apprehension became very uh, uh, high. The president uh, gave his submission and uh, his approval to the CPN to carry on. But the timing is becoming so very, very, uh, the, I mean, becoming the consign of an average Nigeria. Why now? Even when Nigeria is planning for a general election, and even this year, Nigeria is also organizing national population census. Mm. All this that has to do with the mobilization of citizens ought not to coincide with such a monetary policy such as this. We know that in contemporary uh, 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 climate, India has done this in 2016 when the Prime Minister uh, Modi uh, attempted to withdraw their 500 and 1,000 rupees from circulation and reintroduce a new one. In his attempt to curb corruption, to curb inflation, and to ensure that taxes are enforceable. Period that was to do this. So, if you look at that of Nigeria, it's just within three to four months. In other countries like in UK, there is what they call the Series G that was 
made to last for five years. It took the first five years to carry out research, enlightenment, engagement with industrial stakeholders. Five good years. Yes, five good years to, 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 to engage with the stakeholders to change their currency to polymer. And it also take five good years between 2016 to 2020. Uh, 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 2021 or 2022 to fuse this this currency into circulation. Even since the death of the Queen, they are also now faced with the challenges of replacing the portrait of the Queen with that of the King, Charles. So that will take effect from the middle of 2024. That is, it's going to take another two years to do this. In US, the goal is to take 20, uh, 15 good years. 15 good years. Ranging from redesigning, producing, and circulation of same currency. And in all of this, we cannot as a country compare with this advanced country. Yes, the operation of the part of CBN that actuated this narrow redesign is to make sure that the inflationary trend of our country is stayed because when much money is pursuing few goods or the prices of commodity is higher than the value of same uh, currency, we are faced with inflation. No doubt. But the issue facing Nigeria today is why this period? Because we also know that a lot of reports from the security agency has suggested that when Naira is redesigned, especially the higher denomination is redesigned, it will go a long way to check the challenges of those banditry, kidnappers, terrorists who kidnap humans for ransom because they demand for raw cash. Once Nigeria becomes cashless, because we, we started this cashless policy since 2012. Hmm. But the way and manner they want to compel all the citizens to begin this cashless economy was not just supposed with the network problem that is bedeviling transactions. I made a transfer on the sixth of February, as I speak with you, I'm here to get a reversal. I have complained to the bank physically, I've also made calls to the customer care, mm. and they have told me to wait for six working days. Are they also thinking that have a lot of money in my hand to use before that a reversal is made? So I think the problem is that they have to, first and foremost, to have worked on the connectivity of our networks. Mm. Just like what the U.S. has done to begin a series of planning for some years. And even in U.K., they did a lot to ensure that it doesn't fail. Look at what happened in India. It failed because the essence of such uh, a root period design was defeated because of the short period of, of period for implementation. So what Nigeria needs at this point in time is to elongate the period of this Naira swap, or to allow the old and the new Naira note to be used side by side for a period of time. And that is what Nigerians were anticipating, we are expecting from the Council, the, the National Council of, uh, 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 of our elders, mm. where they met, who we were expecting that they would have advised, though they advised to the best knowledge of their own uh, intent and purposes. Mm. One thing Nigeria was expecting is to say, let us begin to use these two notes, both the old and the new, pending when the new one will mm. be in availability. But because of the Supreme Court pronouncement, it hinders most of their thoughts and suggestions. 
because there is no amount of suggestion they will make that is inconsistent with the Supreme Court pronouncement now that will be implemented because the Supreme Court judgment is the highest, the highest court in the land, and whatever they say is binding. So they gave a 14 day uh, 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 injunction, or rather, uh, a kind of a, a restraining order on the part of federal government and CBN to allow both the old and the new Naira route to be used side by side until the determination of the, the case. By and large, what is important at this point in time is how come, how come that the the the, the MFLA as a CPA governor and indeed the the, the voice of ESO and the hands of uh, Jacob is seen in this implementation. If they are hedging it on the copy of vote buying as the main reason why Nigeria is thrown into this hardship, they will fail and they have failed the country. By All right. All right, are you just on? It is not entirely as a result of trying to curb vote buying hmm. that actuated this monetary policy. All right, you just don't want to there are go so many other underlying on the line factors. All right, you just don't want to go on a break. We'll return. We'll continue with this discussion. Don't go away. This is TMI Sunday's edition. TMI, every opinion counts. Thank you so much for us. Thank you for just joined us. This is TMI. We're taking a look at the others council meeting, general council meeting, where ex president and seven president, uh, vice president, governors, the chambers, they came to a discourse uh, what uh, is happening in Nigeria pertaining to uh, the Naira scarcity. We we'll get to mention few scarcity, but it's like every fear been handled already because, according to report, they've supplied fuel to so many stations, but they have their own issue talking about what kind of currency to accept. In course of this show, we're going to roll a clip over so you get to see what happened in being a filling station where a petrol filling station rejecting old Naira notes. We'll get to that. With me here in the studio, he is a politician, an entrepreneur, political analyst, and of course, uh, 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 he was one time the vice chairman of a local government, one time serving chairman of a local government, and Edward Desmond Dubo. Thank you so, so much for joining us Thank today you, on the show and he shared his thought and opinion on this particular uh, uh, discussion. Now, they made a recommendation, all right, Mr. President, and of course the governors, they heard the recommendation. What is stopping them from? Carrying out the recommendation of the elders, so to speak. My brother, you see, CBN has made a fundamental error when he announced on the 26th of October 2022 that beginning from on the 15th of December to on the 31st of January, there is going to be a withdrawal of the old note and a reintroduction of a new note. 20 at uh, 200, 500, and 1,000 in the nation. If beginning from the 15th, the CBA had made available the new note to be used side by side with the old one, while giving the deadline for 31st, the extension that we had wouldn't have arisen. Yes, we were told that 1.4 trillion. Naira was with the banks, and about 3.2 trillion Naira is in individual hands outside the, the votes of the banks. And as I speak with you, the CBA has also come out to announce that out of the 2.7 trillion Naira that was in circulation, that was in the in, uh, individual hands. They are left with about 900 billion to be retrieved. 900 billion? Yes, meaning about 80% of such money that we are hit out in the, in the circulation have been retrieved. What now happened to the production of a new note? What happened to the use of 150, 20 notes that is also equally scarce? As we speak now, the way 
the 50, 100 Naira note is scarce, the same manner the new note anticipated to be changed is, uh, is, is scarce. So, what is now the problem? At the beginning, I knew, even when CBN was able to print 300 billion out of the lot, I knew that the first set of money to be released will be in some few individuals' hands. People are quick to mention politicians because of the forthcoming election. I was going to that. <laughs> but that is not to say yes. that some pockets of politicians are not also in the habit of trying to get hold of this money. But a lot of big men in this society, some influential members of the society, whom you cannot find in the banking hall, have access to getting this money at their bank account. How many of these big men in the society can you find in the banking hall queuing as you are queuing? It's not possible. Have you found a minister in a queue in a banking hall or in an ATM machine? Have you found a commissioner as an assembly member, a council chairman? They have a way of calling the bank manager to request for any amount of money they want. Even to businessmen, those multi-million naira businessmen. They don't go to bank as well as other uh, commoners. Go to bank to request for money through the counter. They make calls. These are what we should watch out for while implementing such policy. Because if I have well over 200 million in my account, I don't need to go to the bank to get 30 million or 5 million. The best is just to call my bank manager. And I'll come to you. Manager. Bring the money to my house, I'll sign a check, then to cash the money. And that is what is happening in Nigeria today. Do you know that a lot of people don't have bank accounts? They want to call on bank Nigerians. They don't have bank accounts. I have a brother just about three weeks ago who was putting his land for sale. And when I requested for his account number, he said he doesn't have an account. And he's about 45 years of age. Hmm. I even requested that I assist him to go and open an account. He did not register for PGC. Neither does he have an NIN. So these are the Nigerians that we call the future leaders, hmm. people who make the largest noise. They don't have the requisite database to function as a citizen. So the problem is that if at all the CBN is coming out with such a lofty policy like this, the, the stages of implementation should be properly guided. We know that the merit in the policy is well known. It's lofty. But the demerit that accompany the, the implementation now hmm. has outweighed the merit. What happened to the CPM when he was meeting with the Council of Elders? Whether he hmm. called it because he had, uh, the, the, the CPM uh, uh, PRO came out the day before uh, yesterday to debunk the insinuation that. Uh, they have the capacity to print more money. They, 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 they said they don't have the capacity to print money. Hmm. But, but, they are, but, are requesting for Germany. And UK uh, uh, a company but to, to, to that but they debunked that already on the page the of the newspaper. He's just trying to deny the obvious because if actually they have the capacity, what will happen to the two point one billion they have retrieved from the from, from the public? And now you are yet to print an equivalent of such money that you withdrew from the circulation. As we speak, they have also told us that it's only 300 billion that they have printed. And even within the first week of implementation of this policy, we saw on a social, uh, a social media where people were spraying this new Naira note. 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and they were even matching it as against the CBN Act of 2007. What now happened to the agency whose duty it is to implement these things to the letter. And we were also told by the CBN governor that they have also sent some staffs 
to the interior, to rural area, to carry out exchange of this money or the swapping of the old Naira note with the new Naira note for a minimum of five and a maximum of 10,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. What happened to the southern part of the country? Because I've seen in, in a video where in the north, they, are doing, they were able to even 200 Naira to encourage them to bring out their. So what's the difference between the north and the southern part of the they, country? They stopped their totally. As far as the implementation of government policy is concerned, even the 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 the, the, the construction or rather the provision of infrastructure, we are a living testimony to the sharp dichotomy between the north and the south. But we cannot blame that on Nigerians as a as a as a citizen. But we blame that on the government. Even during the time of Jonathan, we also saw that happening. So, if we want to take a historical analysis of Nigeria currency, its existence, its design, and where we are today, we will be quick to blame the inflation on certain government. Recall that in 1977, the highest denomination we had in this country was 20 Naira. 20 Naira note with the portrait of the late Montala Mohammed. In 1999, firstly, we discovered that they now coined our five cobo and our and one era. And even in between 1999 and 2005, one, uh, 200 naira, 200 naira, 200 naira, 1,000 naira was introduced under President Oluwajegun of Basanjo the letter writer. I'm sure he's preparing to write a letter this time around. Why would you come to write Because trying to, you know, abolish a country and leadership. History will remember him mm. for good or for bad. Now, since he introduced this higher denomination, our economy has been plunged into a retrogressive uh, uh, economy. A situation where, where we have this higher denomination, at a time, the current governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, Try to denominate our currency at a time. You know, when he raised that uh, uh, awareness, a lot of people supported it because he was drawing some comparison from other countries who did it and they are well of it. <laughs> but he was removed from office because of the cabal who are headbent on carrying this huge amount of money with less visible uh, trace. So I think today, under Good luck, Jonathan. We have also seen that the polymer note was introduced. When we are talking about counterfeiting, the hardest currency to be counterfeit is the polymer. The polymer. Note. Hmm. With the advent of this, this uh, 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 photographic technology and advancement in the print industry, it is easy to print and counterfeit this note we are even fighting for. And one of the reasons why CBN Governor was asking to redesign this note is to reduce the challenges of counterfeiting. Mm. Because the security agency has reported times without number how some people are caught with counterfeit notes. notes. So why are we not also thinking of redesigning this higher denomination into polymer notes? Undermining the fact that they said the cost of producing this polymer note is higher. But even as like that, do you know, are you aware, that since 2015 to date, that Nigeria has used this new note, I mean this old note, mm. they used it, and they have also used 285 billion to destroy and reprint the ones that we want to redesign. So, if CBA is helping us, they should help us and allay our fears, allay our suffering, and make this country and indeed the economy be better for us. Mm. Because we know one of the accusing finger pointing at our politician, mm. and indeed what the CBA governor is trying to implement, is because of his short for political position the other time. How on earth can a CBN governor attempt to contest as a president of a country when he knew 
That as a CBA governor, is it money that he wants? Is it power that he wants? Or is it because he is wanting to redesign the note? Mainly because he knew that the provision of Section 2A, Section 18B, and Section 19A and B of the CBA Act of 2007 gave the powers to the president to approve the redesign of notes. And we have seen in time past, just like as I mentioned that between 1999 and 2005, Obasanjo did it. And even during the time of uh, uh, Gulag General, even when he designed the, the 10 naira, 5 naira, and uh, uh, 15 naira note twice yeah. within a short space of time. time yeah. Because his first thing, design, redesigned the note to ordinary paper and also changed it to polymer. Even when Nigeria was marking 50 years anniversary of independence, he redesigned the 15 naira note to polymer. And even the 100 naira note to mark Nigeria 100 years of existence as a nation during the centenary. He also redesigned the, the 100 naira notes. So he, he led with the law of our land, especially the CPA Act. A CPA or central bank of every country supposed to redesign their notes within five to eight years, hmm. every five to eight years, to beat the antis of counterfeiters. Because one of the major challenge to this currency worldwide is the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, activities of counterfeiters. counterfeiters. So hmm. what you see that happening, because even the numbers of money in circulation we affect the inflationary trajectory of every economy. Once you see that so much money is pursuing few goods, the money is a, uh, the money being used no longer has value. You will know that yes, there is an inflation. You don't need an economist to tell you that yes, Nigeria has plug the plunge into inflation. Just that, just that as we see that the exchange rate of naira to dollar over time has increased. But since this policy started, you can see the stability in exchange rate. That is one of the, the merits of this policy. Mm. But let the CPM governor and the CPM management make this new note available. Okay. See, this cashless policy is one of the best. And I'm very sure after the stability of this Bruha, after the stability of this cash crunch, happy before you can see 1,000 naira, 500 or 200 naira note in circulation. Mm. And that will be better. In advanced country, the highest denomination in US is 100 dollars. dollars. In UK, 50 pounds. How come Nigeria was even anticipating, mm. planning to make it 5,000 notes? Are we progressing or we are retrogressing by so doing? All right. Now, now you, you, you're talking about the merits, and of course, uh, right now, they say for you to get to the future, you have to survive now. Of course. Because now talking about surviving now, it's like the way of survival right now is very, very slim to the extent that purchasing goods and services like, you know, out of which due to the old era, new era palaver, due to transfer palaver, but is it not wise for this particular moment for the old era and of course the new era to coexist? Thank you, my brother. Even in Egypt, hmm. they did their Nara redesign. The currency redesign? Yes. They are currency redesign, sorry. Hmm. And it was done, as you have mentioned, both the old and the new will be used side by side. And I'm very sure, in the wisdom of the Supreme Court, not, I am, not that I am preempting them. Yes. For the sake of the, the, the citizens that are currently in hardship and the economy that is currently in shambles, they should advise or make pronouncement as to allow both the old and the new note to be used side by side for a considerable period of time. Because asking these notes to be swapped within this short period of time between on the 15th of uh, December and on the 31st, it's too small now. Mm. 
You know that in 1984, when this Naira was redesigned under the President Muhammadu Buhari administration as a military man, he did it within three weeks. Mm. We knew that one was military fiat. He used military uh, fiat to do that. But in a democracy where it is meant for the people, and it is by the people, and the essence is for the welfare of the people, mm. you must consult widely. Give a time frame within which to swap this money and cushion the hardship that is inherent in implementation. Because if you go to the bank to withdraw money, they will give you 5,000 euros across the counter. If you go to some ATM machine, they give you 1,000 1, euros. Who is giving them this policy? At the beginning, the CPS said this new note should be dispensed through the ATM machine. When they discover that the bank managers and indeed bank officials are cutting corners and some influential members of the society mm. are passing through the back door to adjust this new narrow note, they now say, okay, bring it to the ATM machine and let it be dispensed across board. But do you know that some ATM machines, they wrap their currency with nylon and put it inside the machine mm. so that it cannot disperse. But once the CP officials came to come and find out how and why this thing is not dispensing, they find the notes there. And we have also video where these things were, were done. done. And even in the about, we discovered that they will hide the new Nera note behind the old Nera note. Because they are waiting to give this money to cash and carry big men in the society. Who are not a big men in the society? Let them not use the word mm. politician to coin the big men in society. We have a lot of big men in society who are businessmen, who are entrepreneurs. Those people who do not even like politicians, they have this money. Can we say that Dan Kote is a politician that made it to have money? No! We have a lot of people who are business mogul who have this money. They don't go to Bucky or to Q. So if we are just directing all these things to politicians, we are missing it. It's like because of the anger for one person, you are directing all your anger to one person, whereas others are there doing it. Before you could get to the root of what is happening, it will be very difficult. So I think what the CPA should do as a matter of solution is to compare all the 18 commercial banks to make money available to customers. When I was depositing my money, I brought the money in bulk. If in line with the directive that I should withdraw 500,000 within a week as an individual, or 5 million within a week as a corporate uh, body, make the money available. I can withdraw 500,000 within one week, so long I don't come again. Do you know at the beginning, when we were, when we were assessing this ATM machine, they said 20,000 era. Only. All right. In my own bank. Hmm. I, I withdraw was 10. Second time, 10. I tried to beat the pronouncement. Okay. By trying to withdraw the third time. He said, You have exceeded your maximum withdrawal. Withdrawal. All right. Meaning it was broken. No grab. When I was depositing, depositing my money, you didn't tell me how much to deposit. But now I'm taking my money and withdrawing my money. You are not telling me how much to withdraw. Do you know it has affected those who are dealing on? Perishable foods. It has affected businessmen, those who are traders, and the most of all, petrol dealers. We are coming to that. We just want now. Dating. Just hold on. We want to go on a break. We will return. We'll continue the discussion right now. I want to take a look at the populace, how they are faring. This morning, someone just sent me a clip of a petrol uh, station right here in Benin refusing. The old Mera North. We'll be right back. Want to make one or two changes? Don't go away. <laughs> 